Hi, I'm Leah, and today we're going to auger a, a toilet. Let me tell you, I've got kids in the house, and doing toilet stuff, it's not, it's not great fun, but I'm going to show you how to do it in a snap. Okay, so first let's look at a toilet auger. Um, it's, uh, they run about $50. And I would suggest get a good auger. It just doesn't pay to spend ten, fifteen, twenty dollars on something that isn't going to hold up. If you spend fifty, sixty bucks on a on a, a good a toilet auger, it's going to serve you for many, many, many years. This is something that you don't want to do on the cheap. So before we get started, um, I'm going to get down on the floor and I'm going to show you where a uh, commode usually gets stopped up. So now we're on the side of the toilet and this is what I want to bring to your attention. You see this? This curved section of the toilet? That's not a design. A lot of people might think, well yeah, that's kind of a design, make your toilet look fancy. No, it really isn't. What it is, it is it's showing you there's an internal drain system inside your toilet. And that's a drain. And so your water doesn't just go straight down. It's not like there's a hole here and then it goes straight down into the drain. It doesn't. It takes the, it, it takes the scenic route. And so it moves around. And the reason for that is so that you can have a trap. Well, what's a trap? Well, let me show you on a sink first. So we've turned around and I want to show you the P-trap on a sink and that's what this is. And so this P-trap, it, it's no different than the trap that's in your toilet. And it's filled with water. It serves two purposes. But the most important purpose is it prevents gas from coming back in from the sewer into your house. It's for safety reasons. And you've got this same trap on a commode. Now the other thing it does is it sometimes um, there's a blockage in here and it makes it easier just to remove the trap and clean out the blockage sometimes it's soap scum sometimes it's hair same thing with the toilet you know you are generally gonna have your blockage right in the trap folks this is this is toilet augering 101 here okay so we're back at the toilet and so we did the scenic route and this is your trap right here so there's water right here and that's preventing the gas from the sewer from escaping into the house and chances are that's where your blockage is too how do you get there well you get there with the toilet auger and that auger's got to go all the way around to get to the blockage and that's what we're going to do today Okay, so let's get started with this. I've got on gloves. You definitely want to wear a pair of gloves. And so this is our auger. And it's attached at the top. Now, what I want to say is um, make certain you clean it. Clean it thoroughly. Take it outside. Hose it off before you put it away. So this, this auger has been cleaned. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to put a little oil on it. I didn't oil this, so it's a little rusty. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, we're going to retract this a little bit, like so. You retract it by just pulling up on the handle. So it's um, pulling up, and the auger cable runs the length of uh, this metal tube, okay? So when you pull up, you're, you're pulling the auger back in. And, and so when you push down, you're extending the auger out, okay? Now, there's another action you need to be mindful of, and that it's this handle. So you're going to be spinning it once you got it in place. You're going to spin it to retrieve whatever the blockage may be. So let's get started. Retract it. Now what I want to do here is I want to rest the um, bottom of the, the auger, that plastic uh, sleeve, inside the bowl. So with the auger uh, retracted, we want to slowly insert the auger into the opening there. Okay, there we go. Don't force it folks. Don't scratch, scratch up your porcelain. Just take your time. So it's, it's extended. And now it's time 
Now, you saw the scenic route, folks. You, you saw how far that auger's got to travel, how far that cable's got to travel. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't go very smoothly, all right? And so you start to push down on that auger. And you might want to spin a little bit. Do a little force. It's going pretty easy. And let me tell you something. It's all the way down, all right? So we know that it has traveled all the way through the commode to that blockage. Now you want to start spinning and pulling it up. Now, what I will say is this. Let me just stop right here. There's no blockage. I, I don't have a blockage in this commode. If you had a blockage, you would feel a little bit of resistance. You might even feel a lot of resistance. Don't let that worry you. That, that will let you know that you have met the blockage. And that's when you got to start spinning that auger, okay? Get that auger down and then slowly start pulling it back. Pull the cable back. And generally, generally what's going to happen is you're going to find the blockage on the end of the uh, auger. Um, and then you want to take the auger outside and, and clean it, as I mentioned before. Flush the toilet, make certain that it's clear. And if it isn't completely clear, repeat the process again. So folks, that's all it takes. And if a plumber were to come to your house and do this job, $200 easy. So being able to do this job yourself, it's going to save you at least $150. And that's, you know, if you purchase the, the auger, because the auger is going to cost you $50. That's why I say it pays for itself. So this is Leah saying you can do this, and I'll see you next time.